Uh, okay, so I recently watched the finale for the Obi-Wan Kenobi series, and I figured, you know, it's time to give my thoughts about the show. Now, by the time you are seeing this video, it's either going to be dropping on Monday or Wednesday, so pretty much we'll see when this <laughs> video gets dropped. Um, but yeah, so anyhow, if you guys happen to enjoy this video, give this video a like, subscribe, and also ring the notification bell. All this helps out the YouTube algorithm, and it helps me create great content for you guys. So, yeah, let's get right to it. Okay, so going into this show, there were some expectations that I felt like had to be met. Like, Obi-Wan, like, these were the boxes that needed to be checked off for me. Obi-Wan having PTSD, flashbacks, young Leia, young Luke, Darth Vader, Qui-Gon Jinn, like... Those were the things that I wanted to see. Now, also, I did want to see Obi-Wan going off-world. I also wanted wanted to see him being hunted down. And surprisingly enough, Lucasfilm did all of this. Lucas, Lucasfilm checked off all the boxes. And for me, like the, that was the whole reason I wanted to see this series. The whole reason why I was open to an Obi-Wan series is for all of that. Like, if an Obi-Wan show or film didn't have that stuff, I was gonna be kind of disappointed. But luckily enough, they did it. They did it really well. Now, obviously, later on the show, you could tell um, there were some rewrites. Some things were had to be reshot because a lot of people did not like the death of Reba for the finale, at least in episode five. Um, now, for those of you who don't know, um, the, the script was essentially leaked online, and Reva, aka the third sister, the one who was hunting down Kenobi, was set to die earlier on in the show. A lot of people didn't like that, so they had to rewrite her character. And while I do think it fits, her being alive in the final episode, I think, doesn't do well, in my opinion. Like, there's a lot of things that they could have done for that character. Like, they could have had a show of a Jedi who becomes an Inquisitor just to kill Darth Vader and all that stuff and have it involve Kenobi, like, have it intertwine with the Obi-Wan Kenobi series. I think could have done really well, but all in all, I was kind of disappointed with the character. Um, the addition of young Luke and young Leia was awesome. A lot of people complained about young Leia and how annoying she was. I think a lot of people forget how annoying 10-year-olds can be. And the fact that we were once 10 years old. So, like, that didn't make a whole lot of sense about the complaints. About the character of Reva and everything. Like, obviously, she had a bunch of complaints about how she was annoying and competent. You had no idea what her goal was. Even though it was practically spelled out when she first showed up. But, yeah, the hate going towards young Leia and Reva was kind of unacceptable. Figured I should mention that. But... Besides that, I think the rest of the show did pretty well. Um, obviously, there was a small complaint that I had with the final fight, even though it was amazing. In A New Hope, Vader says that he left Obi-Wan. But in the final fight, Obi-Wan leaves Vader. So I don't know if they're hinting at a season two or not. But Obi-Wan, in my opinion, should have just stayed in the ground long enough for Vader to just leave, in my opinion. Like, that should have been what happened. In my opinion. But yeah, like I said, I think everybody gave it their all in this show. The flashback of episode 2, Obi-Wan and Anakin was great. Um, seeing Qui-Gon Jinn show up was great. I love that he showed up at the very end, even though I kind of wish he showed up earlier, but I was glad he showed up later. Obi-Wan in this series is great this is literally how you show a character who has literally failed he's lost his master practically his girlfriend his best friend everything that he has known is gone literally gone he failed as a master and lost his apprentice like and, and the fact that Obi-Wan has PTSD over this is great. Like, 
everything about this show I really enjoyed. I love the premise of it, and I like what they did. Like I stated, there could have been some things that would could have been fixed. I think the life lightsaber fights were great, showing Vader that was Vader being more powerful than Obi Wan in the first fight was awesome, and seeing Obi Wan get burned and suffering just as much as well, not as much, but close to what Vader did in Episode Three was great. The final fight where we see Anakin's face was just a tearjerker. It was just like an oh my god moment. So, anyhow. So, here are my final thoughts about the show, obviously. Like I stated, the show was great. The acting. Oh no, the show was good. The acting was great. Some of the things could have been handled a little bit better. And also, I want to bring up that this series doesn't look visually pleasing. Like, the trailers look better than what the show does. So, I'm curious to see or even hear how much the budget was. I heard that the budget was at least a hundred, you know, like hundred and twenty five, hundred twenty eight million dollars. If that's the case, the show, even though it doesn't look bad... It could have looked a lot better. It, like, it makes The Mandalorian and The Book of Boba Fett look better. So, anyhow, I just wanted to bring that up. So, anyhow, my my scoring for the show was 7.5 out of 10. I enjoyed this series a lot. And, yeah. So, anyhow, that is it for this review. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know, guys, what did you think about the Obi-Wan Kenobi series. And with that being said, peace out.